Well, hello, hello, hello. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with clean, intermittent fasting. And then my great big OMAD, and I love my way of eating. I'm 73, and I've been practicing regular fasting for, I don't know, five, six, seven years. And then I cleaned it up to the clean, intermittent fasting, which is just having black coffee and water all day long, no flavored waters, no flavored coffee, no sweeteners, no creamers, etc. No artificial sweeteners in the water. It's just plain old sparkling water, bubbly water. And then I have my feast and I have it between like one and two every day. And it is pretty substantial. I usually have a, um, a pretty big salad with peppers and um, celery and carrots and coleslaw. I buy the 365 coleslaw organic from Whole Foods and some sort of lettuce like Olivia's baby butter lettuce or spring mix, um, things like that. And I put in sometimes blue cheese crumbles, other times feta cheese crumbles. And then I put apple cider vinegar in it. And then I add um, Bragg's dressing or Bragg's oil-free dressing with some, with a little dollop dash of extra virgin olive oil. And sometimes I put in sunflower kernels. Sometimes I do craisins. Um, my salad today does not have craisins or sunflower seeds. It's just got the feta cheese and um, chopped up organic red and orange peppers. Love it. Love my salad. And then I'm having leftover margarita pizza because a girlfriend treated me to lunch yesterday. And that's what I had. And also, I'll probably have mm, something else, but I'm not sure what. Um, my A2 yogurt, plain whole, whole fat yogurt with a dollop of peanut butter. Sometimes I have nuts on top of that, cashews and walnuts. And I can't think of the third nut. Oh, um, some blanched hazelnuts. And that's kind of like the dessert. Sometimes I have fruit. I've got an opal apple. <laughs> have you ever had one? I love them. I like the yellow apples better than red apples. So opal is yellow. And I do have half of a navel orange that I still have to eat. I've also got some um, raspberries and blueberries. So I'll have some of that. So it's a really nice, hearty meal. It carries me to the next meal. I feel like a vehicle pulling into the gas station and getting it a full tank and then heading out on the highway to wherever my destination is. And so I don't, I don't have just a little because I'm having a big something later. I have my one big hearty meal. And about a week ago, you may have seen that I started having a tablespoon of Bragg's Organic ACV apple cider vinegar in a glass of warm water before I ate. And I was listening to Glucose Goddess and she suggested doing this. And I found that my appetite or, or the volume of food is reduced a little bit. Um, it seems to give me, I don't know, it helps with whatever it is. And I, I reach satiety sooner than I did before I was doing the apple cider vinegar. It just feels like it's benefiting me in some ways. It's hard to say exactly what, but I like doing it. It, it starts off my meal. It breaks my fast. I, I know that I've said all the time, I don't break a fast with something. I just dive into my meal. But since I've been doing this for the last week, I find, hey, I kind of like this. And maybe it's a, a digestive aid. Maybe it does help in suppressing my enormous appetite that I've always had. Not sure. I'd, I just like it. Do any of you do the ACV at any time? And then when I add it to the salad as well. So I'm diluting some of that strength because I guess if it, it can attack the enam enamel on your teeth. And once that's gone, it's gone, baby. It doesn't come back. So... My life is not my own right now. I've got um, a very, 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 very stressful issue going on. 
as you can see, I am smiling. I do try to remain positive. I know there'll be solutions. It's just really thrown me. I'm, I'm just very, very surprised at what's going on. And it's taking a lot of mental energy, physical energy, time, patience, coordination. It's just, it's just crazy. And I want it all taken care of yesterday. And, you know, in life, that doesn't happen. So what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? I thought that when I had my first thing of vinegar in the water, too. So anyway, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for um, being able to handle this. I will get through this. It's one of those things that only I can do it. So I can't delegate, you know, somebody to do this. So anyway, it, it has been a challenge and although the little thing on my shoulder that wants me to eat at it, I admit that my diet, my end of the meal has been a little sloppy with some ice cream for comfort eating, but it's all been in my window and it's still OMAD. So the, the blessing is, is that because I've become used to just the clean intermittent fast for like 20 to 23 hours each day, and then my OMAD, I've, I've kept and maintained that discipline, which to me is everything. Because if I don't have discipline over when I eat, how I eat, and um, the amount that I eat, all is lost because food is my go-to. And, you know, because we can still eat and we have a food addiction, it's that, it's that, tough part because if you stop smoking you stop smoking you don't need to smoke to live you don't need to drink alcohol to live you don't need to gamble to live but this is another one of those addictions where if you're like me I turn to food when things <laughs> aren't going my way so anyway I'm I'm blessed because I have maintained that protocol and it is a blessing. It is a gift that clean intermittent fasting makes all the difference in the world. If I was to start nibbling, oh, I'll have one of those. It's the season. There's goodies everywhere you go. Um, the push to eat is right there. I would be, I would be DOA and I would put on 50 pounds in two weeks because I know that my addiction is one bite is too many and a thousand bites is never enough. Maybe you're familiar with that term, that saying. And so I feel really, really good to do this. Now, I have the responsibility of having to do this video, right? So, you know, having this website and doing it um, to, to share the community share with the community, you know, being an older woman, doing it, what happens, you know, resisting temptation. Um, I don't know if it's willpower. I don't know if whatever it is, but having the responsibility to come to you and tell you about, you know, this, this difficult moment in my life that I'll get through. Like I, if I, if, if you lose a spouse, if you have lost a spouse or somebody very, very close to you, if you can get through those things, what other mountain is really a challenge after that? You know, there, it, it's, it's a molehill compared to losing the support, love, and partnership. So every little hill or mountain that comes my way is all mine now. <laughs> Yay me! And so I feel really blessed that um, my higher power is like with me through this. And I will get through this. And... I will maintain my, you know, every day I ask for food sanity, food sobriety, and food abstinence for the next 24 hours, and I get that, and I, I feel so lucky. Since I made that switch of not, no deprivation and having what I want, which does mean starches, it does mean desserts every now and then, um, it does mean adding a fruit, you know, I've, I've found that rounding out what I eat with no deprivation 
and then keeping that fast, clean, 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 has been the answer for me. And so I know that if there's something that I've been hankering, something I want, I can add it into the meal and it's okay and it works and it doesn't set up a binge. This was a long process for me. I'm in my 70s and I began in Overeaters Anonymous in my 20s. So I've been dealing with the acceptance, acknowledgement, recognition of the food addiction for almost 50 years. And so because of that, you know, I just feel that this is the answer for me. This is the one thing that works. It's not somebody else's food plan. It's not what somebody else's eat, eats. It's not going on a food restricted, this is what you're going to have food plan until I lose the weight and then learning how to be normal. It's, it's none of that. It's what's going to work for me as a lifetime. It's a way of eating, W-O-E. It's a way of life, W-O-L. And so it works for me. It takes a long time to find your sweet spot, your juju, your whatever it could be. It took me a long time, a lot of trial and error. And this is the one that I can get to where I don't overeat. I don't eat when I'm clean intermittent fasting. It stays right in that OMAD. When I begin with the uh, apple cider vinegar and the water, I go into the meal, I have whatever I'm having, and then I'm done. I don't go back. I don't wait a couple of hours and have a little bit more. There's no big open window. The window is open while my mouth is swallowing, chewing, all of that. And then the window goes down and I'm good. I'm fueled up. The tank is full and I'm going to go all the way until the next day. And then during the, the clean intermittent fast, it's the black coffee, strong, hot, black, year round <laughs> and my sparkling water. And it just works for me. The only additional thing that I sometimes added, add, and I did it a lot more in the summer than I am now in the winter, is um, adding salt to my coffee and salt to the water, um, just because the temperature's higher and the sweating and all of that. But sometimes I do add it. I keep the salt shaker right there next to the um, brewed coffee. I got a new French press, and I love, love, love it. It's got a double filter, and instead of just that little um, thing that goes down and and uh, keeps it that way, the double basket, there's no bitterness. I make um, a full pot of that in the morning when I wake up, and it lasts the whole day, and each cup tastes like I just fresh brewed it. So that's that's been helpful to me, too. I have no regrets. Um, it's Nespro, I think that's what it is, Nespro or Espro, and it was $60 on Amazon, and I love it. The double basket, what a difference it makes with the grounds and the bitterness and the freshness of it. So I'm totally happy with that too. So I have no complaints. I'm going to get through this stressful thing just like everything else um, before Greg died and since, he died, since he's been gone. And it's life on life's terms, right? But I don't have to eat myself into the grave because that's what that little addict, that little annoying addict on my shoulder wants me to do. It wants me dead. It wants me with diabetes and then dead. And I don't want to be. I want to stay as healthy as I can, as upright as I can. And I'm 73. I've made it this far. And I want to live a little bit longer. So... This is, this is what works for me, the clean intermittent fasting, the wonderful feast with no deprivation, the clean intermittent fast wash, rinse, repeat, and it just continues to work for me. So I'm just here to support all of you with what you do and what you're aiming for. If, if you're trying to get your, your sweet spot still, I wish you the best. You can always talk to me in the comments below. If you've got your sweet spot and you're maintaining it like I am, happy for you. Really happy for you. It takes a long time, doesn't it? But no regrets. No regrets. No deprivation. There we go.
Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you here the next time. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Clean Intermittent Fasting and then my OMAD. Have a great day. Bye-bye.